A vertical square prism base 50 mm side is completely penetrated by a horizontal square prism of base 30 mm side so that their axes intersect. The axis of the horizontal prism is parallel to VP. Face of both the prisms are equally inclined to VP. Draw the projections of the solids showing the lines of intersection. Assume length of each prism as 100 mm. In this problem, now see this model. In this problem, horizontal prism, horizontal square prism, this is the horizontal square prism, is completely penetrated into the vertical square prism. This is the vertical square prism. So this horizontal one is when penetrated into the vertical one, automatically if you observe here, this surface and this surface will intersect. As a result of that, we will get one line of intersection. Here, this surface and this bottom surface are intersecting. As a result that we will get another line of intersection. Something like that on this side also, when surfaces are intersected, we will get some lines of intersection. And uh, in this problem, the information given about the inclination of the side is, uh, all the sides of the both the prisms are equally inclined to VP. All the sides are equally inclined to VP means we have to consider the inclination of the vertical square prism as well as in the horizontal square prism as 45 degrees. Now how to start this problem? One prism is vertical. One prism is vertical means we will get the true shape and size of this base in the top view. So we have to start our problem from the top view of the vertical square prism. Then how to draw the projections of the horizontal square prism? Now observe this horizontal square prism true shape of this base is available only in the side view. You can't see the true shape of the base in the front view or in the top view. So you have to go for the side view. So first draw the top view of the vertical square prism then project the front view then draw the side view of the vertical square prism. After that start drawing the projections of the horizontal square prism. Now first I will go for vertical square prism. Now I am drawing the projections. Draw the XY line. Then draw the top of the vertical square prism. This inclination I have taken as the 45 degrees. Name this as A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D is the top base. Bottom base also I am giving the same names. Now project the front view by drawing the projectors from the top view. Here you take this axis length as 100. Actually this axis length is uh, no way affect the line of intersection. So any length you can consider. Here I am taking this length as 100. I am drawing the projectors and I am going to get the front view. Here I will get A dash. Here I will get B dash, comma D dash. This is C dash. Now take a profile plane. This is the profile plane and project this side view. I am projecting this side view like this. From here also you draw a locus line. Draw the arc. Draw the projector. Now while naming this, when you are seeing like this, this D point will come somewhere here. This is D double dash. When you are seeing like this, this is A. Behind this A we will get C. So here you will get A double dash comma C double dash this point is B double dash. Now here now it is time to represent the base of the horizontal square prism. Horizontal square prism faces are also equal inclined to VP. So what you have to do is uh, at an angle of 45 degrees you have to construct this uh, these faces as shown here. So this angle again you have to consider as 45 degrees. So, with the help of mini drafter, you can draw this, or otherwise, you construct a square somewhere here separately and find out this diagonal length from this center point. You draw the arcs, four arcs, and complete it. That is the easiest procedure. Now, I am naming this. So, from here, I will start and I will start naming in the clockwise direction something like this 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash. 4 dash. So why I am naming in the clockwise direction you observe here. This is the front view. While I am going for the side view something like this. This is 1 dash. This I am 
saying as 2 dash this is 3 dash this is 4 dash ok so now this 1 dash is somewhere here 1 dash is somewhere here 2 dash is somewhere here while you are tilting this 2 will come towards you this is 1 this is 2 when you are tilting something like this this 2 will come towards you so that's why here I am naming these corners in the clockwise direction 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash now side view in the side view we have represented the true shape of the base now project the front view for horizontal square prism also I have taken length as 100 so from the midpoint this side I will take 50 and this side I will take 50 now here 1 is there so automatically here I will get 1 dash this 2 behind that 2 will have 7 so 2 dash comma sorry 4 2 dash comma 4 dash now you are seeing like this this is the view direction this 3 dash 3 double dash point will come somewhere here this is 3 dash now project the top view 4 double dash is somewhere here draw the arc draw a projector from 1 3 also you draw a projector from 2 also you draw a projector to the top view complete the top view now this is 4 for top view you have to see like this this is the direction here you will get 4 here you will get 1 below that 3 so 1 comma 3 2 point somewhere here so now drawing the projections of both the solids is completed now we have to identify the intersection points now observe here here this line is representing two face edges face edge 1 and face edge 3 this face edge 1 is uh, intersecting this uh, face edge A of the vertical square prism so automatically we will get one intersection point there and below that here this is the face edge a here this face edge 3 again intersecting face edge 1 somewhere here that means here we will get two intersection points or two cutting points so here I will take my first point cutting point is P1 and P3 now observe here this line AB AB face this AB face is cutting face edge 2 of the horizontal square prism somewhere here this is P2 now observe this this AD face is cutting face edge 4 somewhere here that is P4 now these are the intersection points or cutting points line of intersections line of uh, points for the line of intersections now project these points to the front view now I am projecting this point here P1 P3 is there I will project P1 P3 points to the front view somewhere here I will get P1 dash so here 1 dash is there so on this line on this projector somewhere here I will get P1 dash similarly here I will get P3 dash now from P2 and P4 you draw a projector here I will get P4 P2 dash just behind that P2 dash just behind that P4 dash ok P4 dash is not visible from the front that is on the back side now draw the line of intersection this is the line of intersection joining P1 and P2 this is the line of intersection joining P2 and P3 and P2 similarly on this side also we will get the same lines because this is symmetric figure here also we will get intersection points if you project it is something like this on this side so now observe now see this model when this horizontal one is penetrated into this vertical square prism this particular edge this particular edge is visible up to here so the remaining portion is not visible that means this particular line is not visible that is dashed so here this particular face edge is visible up to here in this small portion it is not visible so this particular portion of the line is also dashed here on the bottom side this is also dashed ok so in the top view if you observe similarly this line this line is invisible in this portion so this is also this portion of the line is also dashed this portion of the line is also dashed now I am converting invisible lines as dashed lines 
now it is something like this so here i have clearly shown the line of intersection of two prisms